Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. Today we're doing a full face of Juvia's Waist. I'm so excited to do this. I've been waiting to put all these on so I could film this video. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. And the time's finally come. I finally have some free time so we can try out some of this Juvia's Place stuff. I have a lot of stuff here. I have base products, face concealer, I have some eyeshadow primers, I got eyeshadow palettes, I got bronzers, I got blushes, brow products, lipsticks, like I have everything for the most part that I need. There's a couple things that I don't think Juvia's Place makes, maybe I'm totally wrong, but I don't think they make like a face primer and like a couple of other little things. I didn't get like a powder to set the foundation because girl, I'm gonna tell you, I know I'm gonna need some because this stuff is full freaking coverage. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a, I'm a lot scared, I'm not even gonna lie, because this, I'm not usually a full a full coverage person, but I do wanna see how these work, because I've heard really good things about them. I'm gonna put a couple of little clips in my hair so that we don't get any of this full coverage foundation in it. <laughs> Guys, I really need a new chair. This thing is like so broken and it was put together wrong and it's probably gonna squeak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with eyes because that's just how I like to do things around here. So we're going to use the eye primer. I love Juvia's Place packaging. Everything is just uh, so adorable. It's just like artistic looking too. I love the whole ombre moment. I'm just here for it. So this is the eye primer. I got this shade, the color one. These are tinted. <laughs> I wouldn't even say tinted. They're just, oh, Juvia's Place is a full coverage line okay everything they do is full coverage pigment everything i swatched this when i did my haul video and y'all this is like so much so much pigment i do not need a lot i'm just gonna go on the brush first because i don't want to put too much on my eyes let's see oh okay that's not so bad since i went in with the brush i mean Obviously, there's a lot of pigment to it, but this is what I like I, in an eye primer. I like when it has pigment to it, although this is a lot. Oh god, this is getting to be a lot. Oh my god. I probably should have put some kind of moisturizer on my face first since we're putting so much makeup on. You know what? I'm going to do that right now, actually, after I'm done with this primer. Let's put on some of this Glam Glow Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizer because I know that foundation is going to be... <laughs> so matte and i am a dry dry girl so this should give me a little bit of um glow under it okay eyeshadow so i have two different ones that i've been wanting to try that i have from them that are new i have the quad which is this one it is whew, it is so beautiful it's definitely that yellow warm fall vibe i really like this but i don't think i'm gonna use this one today i want to go for more of a pink vibe i don't know i got pink earrings on my background's pink there's just a lot of pink happening so why not add some more pink <laughs> this is the blushed rose palette i don't know if i should go for like the orange an orangey pink or just straight pink i think i'm gonna i really want to use this pink one and this one and <laughs> I don't know, let's just see what happens. I'm so excited for this palette, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, let's start with the lightest pink here. We're gonna do this one for a good transition. I really don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know what look I'm going for. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. When I tell you guys, pigment, pigment. Oh my, God. that is much pinker than I anticipated. It like doesn't look that pink in there. And then, wow. Wow, I really was thinking I was gonna do some kind of soft pink look and, um. No. You know what? We're gonna go for it. Everything's gonna be full. It's gonna be glam. It's gonna be a lot. And that's okay sometimes. That's okay. You know, there's moments for times. There's moments for times. What? There's times in our lives where we need, just need extra, extraness. Okay, now I'm really excited because I want to go in with this one. This is the one that I've been like staring at the most. It's like a rosy pink and this one is just oh, the warm pink vibes that I want. I can't believe I thought I was gonna do a little just a little pink look. <laughs> no, this is pink. But honestly, that's what I love about Juvia is like I can always count on the pigment like and the color. Like they're always there. They always show up and they don't play. They don't mess around. Okay, now I'm gonna go on in a smaller brush and we're gonna go into that deeper reddish shade. Do you even know this oh my god. The pigment! The pigment! Oh my god, why am I still surprised? So I always do my eyes first because I just don't like the fallout, but like literally none literally none that's wild because like 
these are so pigmented and I don't see a speck underneath my eyes. That's a good eyeshadow formula. I mean, I don't mind dealing with fallout. That's why I do my eyes first, so I can take care of it if it happens. But the fact that I don't even have to do anything is awesome because it's just another step that I can like skip. Like the cleanup, don't gotta do it. We can skip that. I am gonna use this one and I'm gonna use my finger. This is just how I always do this, this um, part of my makeup or my eyeshadow. I like to use the shimmer with my finger. It just always just works better, you know? just always does although I do got these um these nails here it's definitely gonna make it a little harder today <laughs> oh my god gorgeous it has kind of like a warm undertone I love warm pink like warm pink Ooh. I mean I love all pink which is crazy because I didn't used to be a pink girl like I really did it I used to be like pink no thank you I'm good but something has happened to me in the last year where I'm like I love pink I love it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna admit to it. I'm tired of hiding it. I'm tired of feeling feeling like I don't like pink and trying to push. It. No, I like pink. I love it, and I'm just a pink girl now. These are so shimmery and gorgeous. Like this was such an easy look too. Let's just do a little bit of more of this too. Can you guys see that? Yeah, these two. Just kind of pop out the edges here. Fluff out the edges. Hmm, makes sense to me. There's nothing too precise about this look, but honestly, that's my favorite kind of look because it takes the least amount of time, and these days, I need things quick. I, I, I don't have as much time as I used to. I'm gonna skip primer. I mean, I did put my uh, moisturizer on, so that can kind of be like my primer. Because I need moisture in this face once this matte foundation hits it, okay? So this is the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I love... The tube i love the squeezy tube i love the packaging on this i'm terrified i'm not that i'm scared i'm scared should i do a brush or should i do a um, um a sponge i'm just gonna use a brush because it's just easier i'm gonna go on the back of my hand first because i'm scared oh also side note this shade doesn't match me too well um it's a little bit darker than my actual shade and if you hear that jingling sound it's this brush actually maybe i should use a different brush because that's probably going to be annoying yeah this color is not really it's okay it's a little yellow for me um and also a little too dark i feel like i did get the lightest shade that they make and it's still too dark for me but that's not uncommon for me a lot of the foundations i get end up being too dark let me see i have the shade 730 oh look it's on sale for ten dollars on their website right now i don't know if it still is by the time this video gets up but it might be go check it out i'll link it below a lot of their stuff is on sale even the concealer too what's your lightest shade here 740 why did i so i got the shade 730 which is very light with neutral cool undertone and then the one the other one is very light with neutral undertone and that's the one that i should have got yeah i definitely should have got the the lighter one um so ignore the color guys ignore the color <laughs> it's definitely too dark for me okay i can't that's that's annoying like if i was in here all by myself it would be fine you guys are watching me so i feel awkward <laughs> Oh my god, do you see that? Like, it looks like I have a mask on. Oh my god. Wait. I can't. I need a, I need a sponge. Okay, a sponge. Yes, 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 yes. I feel better about this. Don't feel better about the color, but... <laughs> There's not much I can do about that. Is this still full coverage? Yes. However, I feel better about it now that it's on my skin. Because I really thought it was gonna feel cakey. Because it was just... It's just... It's a very thick foundation. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's girl she's thick like seriously i mean like you can see here it's like a cream cream like she is she can get thick you know use with caution if you are also a dry girl like me but also if you want that like full coverage they got it they definitely got it i'm going in with like a light layer especially since i'm using a sponge and i think that's working for my skin and we gotta bring it down because <laughs> I don't need to state the obvious here about my line of demarcation. Is that the right word? I can't even remember makeup anymore. Oh my god, I look so yellow. I really am not a fan of this shade at all. Oh my god. I'm not sure how much like you guys can tell, but I definitely feel on the yellow side. Like I don't really feel like this is neutral with cool undertones. But I'm also the shade of paper, so you know. 
there's that. Like when I look in my mirror over here beside me, I'm like, I, I look yellow. <laughs> but as far as the actual finish, by the way, that's my heat in my house. I'm not freezing for a video. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> I, I will say though, like on the face, it does look okay. And be, I, again, since I use the sponge, I feel like it doesn't look as like thick or like cakey as what I thought it might look when I was putting it on or like before I started this video. And I feel like I have it at like a medium to full coverage right now, which is okay. That's not as um, scary as like full coverage to me. I'm just not a big full coverage person. I do think there's a time and a place. Like sometimes there might be a moment where I want a full coverage and maybe this will do it for me. Although the color won't. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try the concealer. I have the shade, this is also the I Am Magic Concealer. I have the shade 24. Is this the lightest shade? I should have known I was gonna be the lightest shade. Like, why didn't I get the lightest foundation? I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, no, it's okay, I can do it. I can do the one up from that. No, I should just always play it safe. Yeah, so this is the lightest shade that they make in their concealer. It's Ferris with Neutral Cool Undertone. It's a really great, I love the packaging on this. I just really like a thick concealer thick concealer packaging i also like a thick concealer not gonna lie concealer i can do full coverage i don't mind a full coverage concealer whoa oh my god <laughs> now this is definitely light <laughs> oh maybe this will help with some of the fact that my yellowness is on i don't know maybe it'll help oh my gosh that is very fair okay let's bend this out oh my gosh wait this is oh my god no oh god hold on let me let me blend it out before i judge because that does not look good <laughs> you know what i should have done well i wasn't thinking when i was doing this i should have mixed i should have <laughs> looks so bad. I should have mixed the concealer with the foundation to lighten it. And this concealer is very fair. I feel like the concealer is okay. I think it's just because the foundation is not my shade. Like this concealer shade actually looks like the shade that I normally use. Although it is like a hair. Uh, just a a little bit lighter than I'm, what I'm used to. Wow, on camera, this looks insane. This look, I mean, um, no, it looks bad in person too. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks so <laughs> What do I even do to fix this? Why does this look so crazy? I don't love how I look right here, but it's because I'm so dry that matte just doesn't work for me. I do feel like it's emphasizing dryness there, but that is not Juvis' fault. That's Lindsay's fault because Lindsay knows she's got dry skin and she's going in with the matte foundation. Is it matte? Yes. So for the oily people out there, you will probably love this. And it's not like, it doesn't look horrendous. Like, I've definitely used other matte concealers and foundations that look way worse as far as like, like on top of my dryness. So I don't, I feel like judging from like the other ones that I've used, it doesn't look that bad. I'm just a little cracked, you know, just a little dry. Is it better now that it's blended out or do I still look, like is it still super contrasted? Oh my God. I'm trying to like blend it out on the rest of my face too. So it kind of like all blends together. Okay, I think we're like getting somewhere here. The more I blend, the more it's looking better. And I think also when I get the rest of my makeup on, it's not gonna look so crazy. Okay. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere here, okay? It definitely dries down like 100%. Like, I do not need powder to like set this down. I'm still gonna powder my under eyes because that's just what I like to do. Um, and they don't have, uh, well, they might have a loose powder, but I didn't feel comfortable with the shades because I'm just, again, super fair. Cause I don't think they have like a true white translucent powder. Um, and that's what I typically go for just because like anything that has a tint when it comes to loose powders always looks too dark on me. Yeah, they have a shade called white sand, but it's not, It's it's got some tint to it. And I just, I just, I can't. I always regret it when I get a tinted translucent powder. I need white ones and I've accepted that. But I have been actually trying out this uh, Glowish Luminous Press Powder by uh, Huda Beauty. And this has actually been working for me, like even under my eyes. And I know I just got done talking about a translucent powder with color and blah, 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 blah. But this actually has been working for me. I did get the fairest shade that they have and it is pretty fair. So it is working out for me. It does add like a tiny bit of color, but in this case it's good <laughs> because it was, that was a very, very fair concealer and also it is a glowy like pressed powder which is what attracted me to it this is not about Huda Beauty 
I like this. <laughs> Let's do brows. They just came out with brow products recently. They have a brow pen, they have a brow pencil, they have a brow gel, I'm pretty sure. I got the brow pencil because that's what I like to use. And I got, it's called the Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Pencil. I got the shade Dark Brown. It's a typical brow pencil where it has the really thin side um for the brow pencil and then it has a spoolie on the other so i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows with this and i shall return this is very boring i have a brow tutorial if you want to see how i do my brows it's literally exactly how i'm doing it right now it's up here in the eye card <laughs> again very pigmented products here this is very emollient so like it's a little bit of a softer brow pencil so i do feel like this wouldn't last like a super long time but i do think it's good for those people who like want a more pigmented brow because i know a lot of brow pencils are actually on the harder side and you have to like really build it up but if you're looking for something that what you want more like pigment out of i've actually had people ask me about that before like some suggestions on ones that aren't hard you know and this one's pretty emollient and like you can tell like obviously <laughs> i have a very dramatic brow but i actually really like my brows dramatic you guys should know that by now like i always do my brows super sculpted and like dramatic really like the color super easy to use i would definitely use it again and suggest it i just would say it's definitely for people who want a very um you can see it <laughs> basically like i wouldn't suggest this to beginners or people who haven't done their brows before because like usually when you're starting out doing your brows it's really like intense and this would be too intense but if you're like me and you like your brows real sculpted and like extra that's really nice and the coloring is perfect like it matches my hair color perfectly okay now i'm so excited for this next part we're gonna do bronzing contouring i'm so excited they have these little duos they also have the blush duos as well so we're gonna use the blush and bronzer duos we're gonna use this one this one is like a little bit more on the cool tone side so i think this will be good for like contouring first it is like pretty um a lot of powder comes up so it's definitely probably going to be pigmented like everything else this comes in a bunch of different shade duos i have the shade light which is the lightest one obviously and this definitely works for my skin tone i definitely had to build it up but i like that because i would rather have to build something up than it be way too dark and then i i don't know what to do with it because it's too dark definitely giving me a little bit of sculpt here which is nice let's do this one a little bit as well to do more like of a bronze you know oh yeah that's nice. <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah, this is really nice. I like this. Yeah, this blends beautifully. Like, it's absolutely no spotiness at all. This looks very nice. Really like that a lot. Okay, now let's do blush. Really want to dip into this one. Really do, but we got a lot of pink going on, so let's do the pink one. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like not too overwhelming, but I definitely can see it being buildable. I love blush. I really do. I think we all do, right? Like everybody loves a good blush. My makeup is actually turning out so pretty. Like, oh my God, I'm already like feeling it. I also didn't get a highlighter, unfortunately, but that would be so nice if they came out with like a, a highlighter duo in like multiple shades as well. That would be so nice. I would totally buy that. I feel really pretty right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. This turned around so quickly. Like honestly, now that I have like bronzer and stuff on, like my skin actually looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I do, I mean, it still looks a little dry in the center, but I feel like it's something that no one else notices. It's just me because I'm used to seeing it, you know? Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow under my eyes. This one. Oh, that concealer creased quite a bit. But honestly, I just tapped it out and like, it's perfect again. That was super easy to fix. Now a little bit of the red. Stunning. <gasps> oh my god! My highlighter! It's broken! A little bit of broken champagne pop from Becca R.I.P. Although, did you guys see that South Smashbox is coming out with their like um, highlighters and under eye brightening concealer thingies? 
under eye brighteners. Color correctors, that's the word. <laughs> I think they like gave them their formula. I didn't know this was broken. How am I supposed to do my project pant? I'm gonna have to repress this. I've never repre repressed anything before and I don't know how it works, but we're gonna have to figure it out for my project pan. <sighs> okay, the last thing I have is some lip products. I'm gonna finish my eyes, so I'm gonna put some lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, lashes are on. Let's do some lip lip stuff where is it at <laughs> okay so i have a couple of lip products here i already opened them and swatched them on my hand but i haven't actually used them yet i have a lip liner this is a red one and i don't know if i necessarily want to do a red with this look like i don't i don't but the liner looks nice so we're gonna skip the liner because i got red and we're not doing red i have a red lipstick which looks gorgeous oh, these smell so good and then I have a uh, like a nudish kind of color. It's uh, the shade Toffee. I think this looks so pretty. This is what I want. This is what I want on my lips. Oh, I'm so excited because I haven't worn lipstick in so long. I have some oil. I put a lip oil on my lips. Uh, I should probably dab it off. Oh, okay. This is a different kind of brown than I thought it would be. Although I did swatch it a couple times, so I should have known the color. Very pretty. Does it go with this look? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Maybe I should put the red one on. I do love this color though. It's very pretty, very fall vibes. Even though we're getting close to winter, but you know, it's still fall. It's still fall. You can totally wear this in the winter too. What am I talking? You can wear this anytime. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> very creamy, very lightweight, which is what I like. It feels like it would be super comfortable. I feel like I need to put the red on. I just feel like, I feel like I need to put the red on. And even, cause like, even though I don't really like necessarily want to wear a red lip right now, like I feel like the red will go better with the pink look than that color does. That would be better for like a warm, neutral kind of look, you know? Let's just do it, you know? Let's just go for it. Not really a big fan of this lip liner. Like, although it is creamy, it's too slippery for me, especially when I'm using a color like a red. It's making it really easy to kind of like mess up the line because it's just so slippery. And it doesn't really quite, I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me see if I can zoom it in. I don't know if you can tell, but the line isn't like super precise. It's like kind of, I don't know. I just, I don't know if I'm a big fan of these. Okay, let's try the red lipstick. It's such a pretty red, like a perfect red. Wait, isn't that the name? It is. <laughs> the name is called Perfect Red. Uh, I'm gonna tear myself too easily. Okay, I gotta stop because I'm getting a little crazy. I'm like, I guess I don't have the patience or something because I'm like messing up the lines and stuff. And we definitely had to do some overlining because I want a little... <laughs> a little out of control but if i had more patience this actually i feel like would be good without a lip liner like i feel like i was doing better lining with the lipstick than i was a lip liner especially because of the shape that oh wait that's the that's the nude one um especially because of the shape that they cut the lipstick it makes it really easy for like getting a nice precise line this is the worst application of a red lipstick i've ever done what is happening i'm starting over whoa that is red Doubles as a lip tint. Check. I don't feel like putting the red back on. Um, let me just say, I liked it. It's beautiful. Love the application, love the smell. The lipsticks are amazing. I want all of them. Look at these. Look at this. Is this not the most beautiful packaging you like have ever seen? Oh my God, look. Gorgeous. Imagine just displaying all of these and not wearing them because we can't because we have to wear masks because of COVID. That's what lipsticks are now. They're just display. Sad. I'm just gonna throw my lip oil back on, honestly. Okay, guys, so that is a full face of Juvia's Place. I think I look so pretty. I feel so good about myself right now. I just, I love it. It looks so nice. My skin looks good. It's totally dried down. I barely had to use like any powder. I mean, like for a matte foundation, I'm actually like really happy with the way that everything came out. Love the eyeshadow, the brow, everything was so good. Wasn't a big fan of the lip liner. It was like the only thing that I'm like, wasn't really a big fan of. This was really fun. I can't wait to do more videos like this because I've just missed filming so much. I've missed doing these like trying new makeup and like just reviews and stuff in general. Like I'm so excited to like do some more soon coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it fun and entertaining and um thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys so 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 much i'll see you guys in my next video bye